Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk all about gifts. It is finally November. I say finally like I've been waiting for it because really yesterday was January so I don't know what I'm talking about but it is November and I think I heard some awful quote or some kind of countdown that Christmas is only like six weeks away. And I'll I don't want to say awful because I love Christmas, but y'all, I would love to say I am a planner to the extent where I actually start Christmas shopping in July, but I have two young girls. They're nine and six and they change their minds daily. So I can't even think about shopping for them until like the week before Christmas. And I honestly, if I were to buy for people earlier than like right now, I would put them somewhere in my house. I would forget where they are. It happens every single year. And honestly, I take after my mom because even to this day, 38 years later, I still get a call the week after Christmas saying she found something else she got me that she forgot about. So it comes to me honestly. But I do want to talk about gifts because it is the time to start shopping for Christmas. I am going to keep this beauty related because that's what this channel is all about. And I am going to talk about both skincare and makeup. So let's go ahead and get right in and y'all can see what I recommend for all the beauty loving people in your life. Okay, last year I was sent this product that I'm about to show you and I did a whole video for like the unboxing of it and I decided to include it in this because I had so many other gift ideas that I wanted to share with y'all too. But it is the advent calendar from Skin Store. So it's the 12 Miracles of Beauty and that's what it looks like. It's huge and I'm not going to lie and tell you that I have not already gone through this because I have two girls, like I mentioned, who are obsessed with all things makeup and they could not and would not let me wait to open this. So we have already gone through it, but I'm going to open it real quick with you. I'm going to go through all 12 days. When you open it like this, it has 12 boxes. Now I am a lover of advent calendars, but I am also not very patient. So I typically don't go one each day. I like to open everything all at once, but that's just me. And this is what it says inside. It's that time of year where wishes come true. This holiday season, it's all about you. 12 miracle must-haves chosen with care, providing confidence across skin, makeup, and hair. Luxury brands to make your regime complete. These magical discoveries are the ultimate treat. Expect something wonderful from every drawer carefully selected by the team at Skin Store. I love a good rhyme. It reminds me of the night before Christmas. All right, so let's just dig in really quick because I was very pleasantly surprised at the size of these products and the selection and the price. I believe it's only $99, which is insane. I will put the link down below for you. This video is not sponsored. They just sent it to me. Um, last year, I received a deluxe size sample of the Pixie eyeliner, which has become my all-time favorite eyeliner to tight line with. So I'm hoping I find another all-time favorite this year. So drawer number one is the Erno Laszlo Hydrate and Nourish Night Cream. So it looks like this. It is 0.5 ounces, so I'm pretty not. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the full size, but it is still a nice size night cream. I have never tried anything from Erno Laszlo. I have heard of them, so or him, them. So I'm excited to try them. So that was drawer one. Drawer two is the De Stress Aromatherapy Associates London muscle gel so it comes in this really pretty purple box and it looks to be a full size so it's five ounces and the warming and easing powers of rosemary black pepper lavender and ginger oh my goodness chad will love this i'm excited about that so really oh i can smell oh my goodness i can smell it from the outside oh that smells good i'm excited about that all right drawer three. Oh, i was excited about this this is from this works um, and it's the Sleep Power Nap Spray. So it looks like this. Um, I've tried other brands like this and you basically like spray it on your pillow before you go to sleep and it may be placebo effect, I don't know, but I do feel like I fell asleep quicker. So you've got that in drawer number three. Drawer number four is a two ounce tube of the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I have used this before and I do like it. So I don't believe that's a full size, but two ounces is a good size to try it out. I was excited about this. This is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. So I don't know if this is full size or not. I think so though. It's 1.6 ounces and it is papaya enzymes and pineapple extract. 
that work together to refine and smooth um, skin. I love enzyme peels. So, and I've never tried anything from Elemis either. So I'm excited about that. I was so excited about this. This is drawer number six and it is the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. I love this stuff. I've gone through, I don't know how many deluxe samples and to see when I opened this and saw that it was a full size, I was so excited because I love to use this in my kit. I love to use it on myself too as a daytime moisturizer, but this is the full 1.3 ounce full size version. So that was drawer six. So excited about that. This one I'm excited to try as well. I've never tried anything from the brand Dr. Botanicals, but it's the Pomegranate Superfood Brightening Eye Serum. Again, looks to be full size. It is made in the UK and you apply it around the eye as a serum. So the way I use eye serums is I will put them on underneath eye creams. So I'm excited to try that. Doesn't really have that much of a scent from what I can smell right now. So I'm excited about that. Pomegranate superfood. This is exciting. This is like Christmas to me. This is the only thing in drawer number eight that I think is a repeat from last year. And this is Grow Gorgeous Hair Density Serum. So it comes in this big box like this. And I don't think I ever tried this last year. I was afraid it was going to make my hair oily. But if you have ever tried it, let me know because it just comes in a dropper. And it's supposed to give density to your hair. But you're, I think the reason it says apply 20 drops once daily, that's a lot. When I put 20 drops in my um, palm. I'm like, yeah, that's, there's no way. So I don't know if you've tried that, let me know. Drawer number nine is a couple of samples from Skin Medica. This is the TNS Eye Repair, which I've told y'all so many times how much I love this. And the Total Defense and Repair Broad Spectrum SPF 34 sunscreen. So they're just little samples, but Skin Medica is very expensive. So I get that they probably wouldn't put a full size of anything, but I like that they at least included two in the drawer. So that was drawer number nine. This is the first makeup item. This is drawer number 10 and it's the Ico Fat Eye Stick. So it's like basically an eye crayon and it's in the color Gilt. And when I swatched this, Cortland really liked it. But it's like a really pretty olive green color. It doesn't really have too much shimmer in it, but I like that. And it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, like even after I just applied it. So I will definitely be trying that. Drawer number 11 is the Skin Chemist London Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plump. So it is basically in a lipstick tube with a doe foot applicator and it's a lip plumper. Sometimes they scare me because sometimes they can hurt, but I will be trying them and letting you know. And then finally in drawer number 12, I'm really excited about this. This is from the brand Amaravitsa, which I really like. I have tried their Hung Hungry Mist and their um, Moisture Serum. I liked both of them and this is the Balancing Moisturizer. So this is one ounce. I don't believe it's a full size, but still one ounce of an Amaravitsa product is really good because this line is not cheap. So I am super excited about trying that. So you get all of that in this huge box, which who would not want that under their tree? And even my girls are so excited for when I empty it out because they are gonna play with it for probably six months. All those pull out drawers, they love it. So that is my first recommendation because you get so many gifts in one and it's $99. Okay, I'm gonna go along the line. Some of these gifts, the, uh, the other gifts I'm gonna talk about, I have with me. Some of them I just recommend because I've used the products before and I'll put a picture when I talk about them. But we're gonna stick to skincare first. Um, this is one set that I got during the friends and family sale, I think at Sephora. It's the Pharmacy Cream of the Crop. Aren't y'all so proud of me? I went and got everything and put them back in the box. I saved this box because I knew I was going to be doing this video and I knew this would be part of it. I've talked so much about how much I adore the Green Clean Cleansing Balm, which you do get a full size of. You also get deluxe size samples of the Honey Drop Moisturizer and the Pharmacy... I should know what this is because I just talked about this in my peeling video. The Honey Potion Mask, which I love. It's like a warming, moisturizing mask. 
and I just checked and of course I can't find it on Sephora but it looks like it is on the pharmacy website and it's currently $42 the full size of this is only 34 so you're only spending eight more dollars to get these two in a nice package that you could simply put a bow on so I will link to the actual pharmacy website down below but I have been loving these products Another skincare set that I would recommend, but I don't physically have, so I'll put a picture of it, is from Drunk Elephant, and it's the Inspector Drunk Night Kit. Um, I have seen this in store. Again, I don't have it, but I love the uh, TLC Night Cream. I'm looking at it. It looks like it's also got the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream in it, which I do like. Um, I have not tried the other three things, but I want to try the cleanser. It's got the hydration serum and the Lala Watro Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. So this is only $98, which is only $8 more than if you bought the full size of the night serum that I like so much. So I think that's a great idea, especially for someone maybe in their 20s, um, early 30s, because it's got, I mean, it's got a cute little like inspect your products for the in ingredients that they have on it. It's got like a little magnifying glass type thing with it. It's a cute little kitschy idea, but I mean, it's cute. And that's what I look for in gifts. So I recommend that. The, I think the only other skincare set that I'm going to talk about is from Beauty Counter. And I honestly, I have a whole other channel dedicated to Beauty Counter and Clean Beauty. So I'm not going to talk too long but I would be lying if I did not include at least one of these sets. If you want to see everything, I'll put a card up for the entire holiday collection. But this is the one that I recommend the most if you have not tried Beauty Counter skincare or if someone in your life hasn't and you want to introduce them to it. And it is the Best of Beauty Counter set. It comes in a box like this. You open it up and it has the Counter Match Adaptive Moisture Lotion, which is the lotion I use every single morning under makeup the balancing charcoal mask, the brightening vitamin C oil, which made it into the Allure Best of Beauty list, and the cleansing balm, which is one of the best sellers for Beauty Counter and the CEO's favorite product because it can be used in lots of different ways. So none of these are full-size products, but a lot of them are pretty close. The moisture lotion and the oil are pretty close. Even that is at least half. Uh, but it's a great way to try everything and I believe it's $89 which for Beauty Counter products is not bad. So I do highly recommend this set. I really recommend all of them, but again, y'all can go to that separate video if you wanna see everything that's offered. And those are the standout skincare sets. Um, so you've got the advent calendar and then three other sets that you can look into if you have a skincare lover in your life or if you were gifted a gift card and wanna know how to spend it. So let's go into makeup. First one I'm gonna only touch on for just a second because Y'all know I could talk for hours about this because I already have. <laughs> it's the Hourglass Unlocked Palette. This is currently out of stock on Sephora, probably due to the sale, but it is stock. It is in stock, excuse me, on Nordstrom and probably the Hourglass website as of the day that I'm filming this. But it is basically the best palette, face palette known to man. It's got a highlighter, a bronzer, two blushes, and two finishing powders, the ambient lighting finishing powders. They are all six exclusive to this palette. That's why I'm so eager to let everybody I know know about it because it's limited edition. I can only hope that they're going to bring these out permanently, but right now this is the only way that you can get all six of these colors. So please, please at least try to go in store and swatch the beautifulness of this palette. If you have a makeup lover in your life, I can't, I cannot imagine being any happier if someone were to have bought this for me for Christmas. It is so gorgeous and really and truly a must have. And I want to say that all the makeup things, well, the three makeup things I'm talking about can range for any ages because I know some, like some gift guides that I've been seeing are more geared towards younger or more geared towards older. And all this stuff can be used for any ages, especially the makeup. So, I mean, if I were like a teenager and I'd gotten that hourglass palette, I would have never gotten that as a teenager. I'm just saying, but if I were, holy cow, that would have been so nice. But it, the actual powders work on all ages. So this is a set that you can't get anywhere but QVC. And until I saw it, I didn't even know this brand made this product. And it's from Bare Minerals and it is their Bare Pro eyeshadow stick set. So it comes like this. Let me make sure you can still get it. I didn't prepare very well from this video. I just am talking about stuff I love and I just think you should always be able to get it. 
just because I love it and that's not always the case. Okay, good. You can still get it. All right, so this is a, sorry, I got sidetracked reading some of these reviews. Please do not um, rely on reviews only that you read because some of these reviews I'm reading are clearly people that have never used an eyeshadow stick before. So don't rely on those. I'm just telling you, I personally love them and they are a collection of five eyeshadow sticks. Those are kind of the colors. I will um, swatch them real quick for you. These are, I believe I heard the rep say that they're made out of 40% water. So they're very similar to the Marc Jacobs, I think it's Twinkle Pops, are cooling as you apply them and they really are. And I think that the variety of colors is really good. Someone in the reviews I just read said glitter fell everywhere. There aren't, there's no glitter in these. How could glitter fall everywhere when there are no glitter? Again, don't take reviews for everything, but those are the eyeshadow sticks right there. One swipe on the hand, so pretty. It's gold, rose gold, champagne, a really pretty gunmetal color, and then a pretty taupey purple color. These are so good. So, so good. So I highly recommend them because they do come as a set and you get all five for $48. Okay, the only other makeup item type thing that I'm gonna talk about is one that I don't have, but... I will put a picture up and it is the Beauty Blender Sweet Indulgence Set. So this is the one that comes with four Beauty Blenders and four small Beauty Blender cleansers. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the original Beauty Blender cleanser. I don't think it does any better than my Dr. Bronner's Bar Soap when I clean my sponges. However, these are like a clear, um, kind of see-through type of bar where the other ones aren't. So I don't know if it's a different formula or not. But really, I'm talking about the Beauty Blenders itself. Now, I am not saying that Beauty Blenders are the only sponge that's gonna work for you. I do like the EcoTool sponges, I do like the Real Technique sponges, but I have since gone back to a Beauty Blender and been using the Sapphire one for probably three months now, and really and truly, I forgot how much I loved it. It doesn't break apart. I've been using the Real Technique some, and they've just been breaking apart on me and not lasting long. They're tearing. They're, uh, I feel like the consistency is a little bit different. So I always feel like I can go back to Beauty, Beauty Blender brand and know that I'm going to get a product that's going to last. So this one has four Beauty Blenders and four of the solids for $65 when typically four Beauty Blenders by themselves would be at least 80 And then you're getting, you know, the solids with it. Now it's obviously can be broken up. You can give one, you know, cleansing bar with one beauty blender. I, I think putting it in like a little organza bag and sticking it in a stocking would be absolutely perfect. And then you have four separate gifts. So those are my makeup type of products. There's another set that I really suggest, but I'm doing a whole, whole look kind of surrounding that set next week. So stay tuned for that. I don't want to really introduce it until that video. So I, I think another great gift idea is perfume sampler sets. I've talked about one of them recently um, in my Sephora recommendations video. I've got two to show you here. And then Sephora always has those ones where you can buy one with all the little vials of perfume in them. And then you also have a voucher for a full size of any of the perfumes that are in the set. That is a perfect gift because someone can, what, excuse me. Someone can actually pick what they like the best out of the bunch. So you're not just hoping they like the scent that you get them. And that's another reason I like these sets. So the replica set I've talked about a lot. I'm not going to go too much into it, but it's basically got all 10 of the replica um, by Maison Margiela. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Since and then for you to try, um, it has my favorite scent of ever lipstick on that I have since repurchased a full size, but you're allowing the person that you're gifting to to determine which one they like the best. So I love that, especially because they're not really expensive. This one is by Commodity, and I think I don't have the full box, but it is the set where you can try all the Commodity. I don't know if it's all of them. It's not all of them because I know Nectar isn't in here and I wanted to smell that, but it's got nine of the Commodity scents. This is good for men because I think a lot of the commodity scents are unisex and it can be very picky about their cologne, more so than women I, found, I have found. So I think this is a good idea for men as well as women because I do like those scents as well. And then finally, the only other thing I'm going to talk about is one set that I would be very happy to have for hair. 
Hair can be a little tricky because when you're gifting, you really kind of have to know the person's type of hair very well, their personal preference when it comes to hair products, um, you know, kind of their routine for the most part. Now, this set that I like is something that you could really get out of anybody, and it's the Sephora Favorites Instant Texture Dry Styling Spray Collection. It's got one, two, three, four, five deluxe size samples of... Um, dry texture sprays and then I think one's like a sea salt spray from Verb. I love these sets, the Sephora favorite sets because they had a dry shampoo one that would have been perfect too but I couldn't find that because really that kind of stuff works for everybody and again it can let, allow them to try five different brands of stuff that they may not have ever bought for themselves and possibly fall in love with a new hair product. So I love that especially because that one's only $32 which is a perfect price for a gift for maybe someone that's not in your immediate family, um, you know, like babysitter. I don't know. Like that's the kind of stuff that I like to get for people that I may have a hard time deciding what to get for them otherwise. So that is going to wrap up my holiday gift buying guide. Those are the favorite standout gifts. Maybe you watched this whole thing and was like, wow, there was absolutely nothing groundbreaking about that video. And that's okay because I simply wanted to share with you what I either would want to get myself or what I plan on gifting to other people in my life. So hopefully at least you found some kind of idea worthy of your time or at least found it entertaining. As always, be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.